How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to transfer all your data and files from your Android to your new iPhone. So if you're watching this video, you probably just got a new iPhone and you want to transfer everything from your Android phone, right? So your photos, videos, apps, the data inside the apps, your files, documents, settings, even your Google account in your WhatsApp data. In this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly that, how to transfer everything from your Android to your new iPhone. And I love this method because it's made by Apple. So it's completely free and extremely easy. And you can choose if you wanna do this transfer completely wireless or using a cable connecting both devices. It's amazing. All you need is your Android, your iPhone, you don't need anything else, Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is make sure your iPhone is at the hello screen, the very first setup screen, meaning that your iPhone is completely blank, erased. There's no information inside of it. That's mandatory. You will need to get your iPhone to this screen right here in order to actually receive the information from the Android. It can only get information, it can only receive the information, the data, the files, the apps, if it's at the hello screen, okay? So don't worry if your iPhone is like mine, if it's completely functional, running with apps and data and so on, because I'm gonna show you right now how to reset your iPhone and get to the hello screen, so then we can move on with the process. Naturally, if you just got or just bought a brand new iPhone sealed and then you just opened it out of the box, it will be right here at the hello screen. So it will already be at the perfect stage that we want it to be, okay? So if your iPhone is already at the hello screen, naturally, you won't need to perform those following steps that I'm gonna show you right now, okay? We'll meet in a couple minutes and then we'll move on. If you want to, you can follow from the chapters right here so then you don't waste your time. Okay, so let's get to the hello screen. Let's tap here on settings and then scroll down and tap on general and then scroll down as you can see all the way down until we get to transfer or reset iPhone. That's exactly what we want. And then erase all content and settings. And as you can see right here, erase this iPhone. And I have to explain you right now, this is super, super important. When we continue right here, we're gonna actually reset the iPhone for good. We're gonna erase all of its data and content. So if by any chance you have here data, information, apps, anything on this iPhone that you actually still need. And please keep in mind, I'm talking about the iPhone, not the Android, okay? The Android is here, no problem with that. Okay, we're gonna get this information in a second. But if there is any data here on the iPhone that you probably need in the future, make sure to back up, make sure to save this information because after we move on here, we're gonna erase everything in order to receive from the Android, okay? So let's go ahead here and continue. Uh, if you have an eSIM on this iPhone, like a from your carrier, right? Your SIM from your carrier, an electronic SIM, an embedded SIM, as it's called also, you can choose the option to keep the eSIM and erase the data. That works as well. Or if you want to erase everything, you can delete eSIM and erase data. So delete everything, okay? In my case, I wanna keep my eSIM, all right? So I'm gonna keep eSIM and erase data, all right? And then as you can see right here, passcode for this iPhone, I have a very difficult code for this studio iPhone. And right here, automatically, it'll upload the data to iCloud because I have iCloud backup enabled. Since I don't want that, I don't want the backup, I can go ahead and skip. For you, you can wait for the backup if you want to, so you don't waste any of your files that are here uh, on your iPhone, okay? Apple account, so then you're gonna need to type in the passcode for this Apple account, for this Apple ID, okay? If it's yours, you can type it in. If it's from the previous owner, for example, you need to get the code with them, okay? So please keep in mind to do that. And then all you have to do is turn off, so then we are disabling the Apple ID, disabling the Apple account, find my and everything, making this iPhone completely erased and blank. As you can see, maybe your keyboard will pop up once again, but you don't have to do anything, don't have to touch anything. Uh, this happens, okay? All you have to do is wait. 
wait for a few seconds and your iPhone will automatically reboot and start erasing. It generally takes maybe like 20 seconds. There we go. So as you can see, the iPhone has just turned off and then all we have here is the Apple logo with a loading bar. So all you have to do now is wait. It's probably going to take a minute or two. And then after that, we're going to be at the hello screen. And so after a couple minutes, we're here at the hello screen, meaning we're good to go. So we can already go ahead and start finally to transfer our data from our Android to our iPhone. Please keep in mind that now the video suits everybody. Now we got to make sure to get to one specific screen right here on the iPhone in order to start the transferring process. Okay. So go ahead here and go for your language. Let's go for English or region. I'm going to go for Brazil, go for your region. Okay. Continue for appearance, quick start. We don't want quick start. We want to set up with another device. Okay. So tap on this bottom option here, choose your Wi-Fi network. So you can go ahead and choose the Wi-Fi network. This is especially important if you're going to do the transfer wirelessly. So if you're going to do it with a cable, it's not as important, but of course, go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi as well and connect to it as well. But if you want to do it wirelessly over the air, of course, go ahead and make sure that you're connecting your iPhone to the same Wi-Fi network as your Android phone. Both of them have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, go ahead here and type in the code. I'm sorry, this screen is pretty dim here, but we can't really bump it up on those very first setup screens. Okay, so you got to bear with me here. Okay, so join. So let's join uh, my net. Network. I'm choosing, of course, the same one as my Android phone. It's connecting right here. And then, of course, it's activating the iPhone. It says it's going to take a few minutes. It generally takes a few seconds. Let's go ahead and continue, as you can see right here. Now we have set up iPhone. So you can choose if you want to set up your iPhone for yourself or for a child. In my case, set up for myself and then face ID. So if you want to go ahead and register your face ID right now, you can. So you can go ahead and tap on continue get started and then register your face id you can choose if you want to use face id with a mask or not i'm not going to use it with a mask okay now we have here face id so let's go ahead and continue and here to create an iphone passcode so create the code uh, that you're going to use to unlock your iphone i'm going to go with the same very difficult code right here of course I don't recommend that you do that. This is simply because, as I said, this is studio iPhone, so I don't take it outside. It's just for me. OK, so let's go ahead here and confirm it. Wait, and then we get to the exact page that we need. Transfer your app and data. We have a few options right here. So for example, from an iCloud backup, that's not what we want. From another iPhone, that's not what we want. From Mac or PC, again, not what we want. What we want is from Android. So great, tap on from Android. And right here, we're gonna actually need to get, for the very first time, our Android phone, because we're gonna need to download an app right here on the Android. So let's go ahead, pick it up. We can leave the iPhone in the desk for a few seconds right here. And then all we need is to go ahead and open up the Play Store, as you can see. And then right here, go to search. And then let's search for move to iOS. That's the app, move to iOS, as simple as that. You're having the information on the screen. And also I'm gonna leave a direct link in the description down below. OK, as you can see, that's the app Move to iOS made by Apple. As I mentioned before, this is the official method made by Apple completely free. So all you have to do is tap on install. It's going to install it is a very light app. It's going to download and install in like just a few seconds, as you can see right here. Installing, we're good to go. You can go ahead and open it up. So as you can see, we have privacy information. You can agree, continue and then agree once again for terms and conditions. Send app usage data if you don't want to, you don't want to send, I don't want to send, and then allow for location. Yes, let's continue and allow just while using the app. Notifications, let's continue and allow as well. And then right here, as I mentioned, is where we're going to choose how we want to transfer all of our data. Please keep in mind, guys, that this will be the exact same process. It'll transfer the exact same files. It's the exact same thing. It's just a matter of how you want to do it. So if you have a compatible cable, so a cable that can actually connect one end to your Android and the other one to your iPhone, for example, USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to Lightning, it'll depend on your iPhone. I do recommend that you use the cable. Apple does recommend as well. That's the first 
uh, recommended option simply because it's faster and you will have less problems because a wired connection is always better okay but if you don't have a cable with you no problem at all you can do it with Wi-Fi. Before I continue, there's one very important piece of information that I have to give you. If you're transferring from your Android to your iPhone, always make sure that your iPhone has enough storage to receive all of the data you're sending. It's pretty obvious, but it's important to mention. So for example, if you're transferring 100 gigabytes of data, you gotta make sure that your iPhone is at least 128 gigs, so it has enough storage to receive it. If your iPhone is, for example, 64 gigs, it just won't have enough storage to receive it and the process won't work. So make sure your iPhone has enough storage to receive all your data. Okay, I'm gonna do it in this video the wired way, using the cable. But of course, I always make universal videos for everyone, so I'm gonna show you how you can do it via Wi-Fi just the beginning of the process and then I'm gonna come back to cable okay just to make sure I got everyone covered so let's go ahead and continue with Wi-Fi as you can see since we're connected to the same Wi-Fi network it's already gonna pick up automatically so devices on Wi-Fi remember I said it's super important to connect to the same Wi-Fi network that's why so let's go ahead here and click on iPhone 14 Pro which is this guy right here so tap on it and then we're gonna connect via a code. So let's continue. And then we're good to go to enter the code. Which code? I'm gonna show you. So on the iPhone, go ahead and swipe up. And then we are on the transfer from Android. Remember this screen, right? So go ahead here and tap on continue, as you can see. So let it do its thing. Let it continue. It's gonna take a few seconds and automatically it's gonna create a verification code. You go ahead and you enter this code right here and then you're gonna move on with the process wirelessly, okay? Since we're gonna do it with a cable, let's come back, okay? Let's come back here to from Android. Let's get back here to this very first page again. Let's leave it on the table. Let's come back on the Android as well. Back once again, and of course, we're gonna do it via the cable. I'm gonna use right here a USB-C, as you can see right here, to a lightning cable. So I'm gonna leave the USB-C here and use a lightning cable as you can see uh, look let's get back to the page make sure it's charging as you can see and then on the Android phone we're gonna get the information right here to allow move to iOS to have access to iPhone this is super important so tap on always and then OK, as you can see right here, and open Move to iOS to handle iPhone. You can tap on Always as well, and OK once again. So we're good to go. Please keep in mind that if we're doing this wired, you gotta make sure your Android phone has enough battery because your iPhone is gonna be draining a little bit of the battery from the Android as well. So make sure you your Android phone is charged, okay? This is important. Another thing that's important is if you're doing it wirelessly, make sure that both the devices have enough battery for the same reason. You don't want your iPhone to die throughout the process, okay? So let's go ahead here, get to the same page, okay? And then we're good to go. Let's continue on the iPhone, continue on the Android phone. You're gonna need a code again, so continue. Let's get that code so they can sync up. So let me go ahead and uh, put the code in, as you can see. And then, as you can see, select items to transfer. Let's leave the iPhone on the table because here we're gonna choose which files we're gonna transfer. And keep in mind, it's the exact same process. If you're doing this wired or wirelessly, we're gonna have the exact same screens, the exact same items to transfer, the exact same thing, okay? So let's go ahead here and choose messages, allow. You can go ahead here and allow everything and we're gonna do it manually. So allow, allow, allow everything. So we're gonna do it manually. As you can see, some of the items just um, for move to iOS, I'm gonna allow all for my photos, for my voice memos, for everything. As you can see, some of those options, they still are grayed out. And that's simply because sometimes you have a compatibility issue, okay, it's normal. We're transferring from two completely different operating systems, but most of the important stuff will go, like your contacts, your events, your Google account, remember that I mentioned, your photo library, uh, your apps, so pretty much the most important thing, and the data inside those apps, and the settings, accessibilities, and of course, even your files. So you can tap on that files. So if you have files here on your Android phone, like for example, your folders, right? Your files, uh, you can go ahead and choose which folders you wanna actually go ahead and add 
to the transferring process as well okay so you can choose and then tap here on use this folder all right let's come back i'm good to go i can go ahead and continue and then as you can see transferring to iphone keep this device turned on and connected and then as you can see it's transferring everything and it's just gonna take it's it's done <laughs> as you can see transfer complete and that's why i super recommend that you use the wired process because it's so much faster okay uh let me go ahead here and disable that and as you can see we have here everything that was transferred and then we can hit, hit done and we're good to go guys you don't need your android phone anymore it has transferred everything already in just a few seconds so you can unplug uh, your Android, you can leave it right here, okay? I can unplug it as well, my iPhone, I don't need it anymore. And then I'm gonna swipe up, and as you can see, transfer complete. The same information that we saw on the Android, now here on the iPhone, so let's continue. Right here, we're gonna need to put our Apple account, so uh, your Apple ID, if you don't have an Apple ID, you can go ahead here and create a new one. Or if you already have an Apple ID, you can choose yours. Go ahead and continue. As you can see, let it load. And then as you can see, you're signing in to your Apple ID. Right here, we have our terms and conditions. You can agree on this and then it's signing in. If it's their, your very first time signing into your Apple ID, or if you're using an old Apple ID, it's gonna be the exact same thing. This is just gonna take a few more seconds. And on the screen, we have make this your new iPhone. So it's showing me what's actually being installed on this iPhone. So your apps and data, your settings, it's just a brief description right here. You can continue. Then we've got the emergency SOS. You can continue if your iPhone is compatible with this feature. So from the iPhone 14 Pro and up, and then welcome to iPhone, we can swipe up and then we're good to go. If you have transferred apps, just like myself, you probably see this, add your Android device apps from the app store. So if the Android apps that you have transferred from the Android, right, are compatible with the app store, it's gonna start automatically downloading them. So of course you want that, okay? Let me cancel this other pop-up. And as you can see, add apps, this is super important. Now. Let's finally go ahead and put our brightness up, finally, so we can check better. And as you can see, we've got Samsung apps, and of course, all of them are here. Take a look at this beauty. So we've got all of the apps right here from our Android phone straight on our iPhone. It's all here. All of those apps that you're seeing right here are here as well. Uh, please keep in mind that by default, you'll see this uh, little cloud icon, meaning that they will be downloaded in a second. Okay, so you can go ahead and wait and they'll be downloaded. Just wait and it's gonna be automatic. Or if you are in a hurry, you can go ahead and do it manually. Like for example, you can tap on any app as you can see right here, and then it's gonna say download required. You have to go to the app store. So you tap on view in app store. But as I said, this is not mandatory. You can wait as well, okay? Just if you are in a hurry. So you can go ahead and continue. And then if you wanna get personalized ads, you don't want that. And then as you can see, uh, location, let it load, let it load the app store. And then as you can see, we've got the app. So you can download it manually, okay? If that's what we want. So then it's gonna start downloading manually. But as I said, by default, it'll download everything automatically in just a few minutes. If it doesn't, for some reason, you can do it manually like I just showed you. And then when it loads, it's already going to be with all of your information inside. All of the info will be inside. And as you can see, it has already started. As you can see right here, downloading YouTube, this other app and so on. So it has already started and it will happen automatically, as I mentioned. And so you're good, guys. You have successfully transferred all your data from your Android phone to your iPhone automatically for free, the official Apple way. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.